Hey what's up guys. Welcome to another episode of Agix Blog and I'm your host Nikhil. Apple is on the verge to help us keep a healthier balance between gadgets and our life. And in this video we are going to take a look at one of the iOS 12 feature that help us to reduce interruptions and manage on-screen time. So let's get into it. Before we start, make sure you subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from the iGeeks blog. Screen time is a handy feature that let me know how much time I have spent using a phone and even using an individual app. It shows a detailed report on a daily and weekly basis and breaks down users' habits by category. With it, you can know that how much time you spent using WhatsApp, Facebook, or any other app, and also avoid unwanted notification for a while. Even you can track how many times you picked up your phone. Screen time works with family sharing and offers significant parental control. So from now, you can track your child's activity that where he or she is getting more engaged or which website to use often. App limits that I like the most. Now I can set the time limit for all or for some specific apps by category. For example, I have set an app limits for social media apps and customized the different time for a different days. If I use app beyond the time limit I set, it will notify me that your time limit is it about to expire. Another attracting feature is downtime. After setting this, I will not see notification for a selected time and a badge appear on apps indicating not allowed to be used. But with always allowed, I can choose specific apps to exclude or include in a downtime. You can block specific content from content and privacy restrictions. Just enable content privacy and you will be allowed to be customized kind of content that you want to block. You can allow or disallow app store purchases. You can also block specific apps to access from allowed apps. It is easy to disallow to access explicit music, broadcast, news and books. You can easily restrict certain movies and TV programs by their certification categories. Same way you can also restrict explicit web content and languages. So that's pretty much to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm signing off and see you in the next one.